What is the moment when you realized, my teacher is an idiot? In primary school, I asked my teacher what an ounce was. She hushed me, told me it wasn't real and to never ask that again. As though as a 9 year old I was asking about an ounce of weed and not the unit of measurement. My algebra teacher had us take 10% off a number to find 90%. Then to undo it she said take 10% of the 90% and add it back in. That is not how math works. I called her on it and she told me I was mistaken in front of the whole class. After class she admitted I was right but didn't want to confuse everyone else. Lady, doing simple math wrong is what confused everyone else. Choosing pride over teaching the correct thing is a terrible quality for a teacher. Not my teacher, but my daughter's teacher. In science class, they were discussing the scenario of a skittle dropped into water, pointing out the red cloud coming from the candy. He asked the class what was happening to the coating in that context. Student said, it's dissolving. He argued, no, it's going away. How were these people determined to be qualified to teach? The moment he accused me of taking a practice test 237 times, exactly, and basically said I was dumb for thinking it would help my academics. This was stupid for multiple reasons. 1. I did not take the test 237 times, I took it exactly once, to which I got a perfect score the first time. 2. The test was about 10 minutes long. If I'd taken it 237 times it'd have spent 2370 minutes on it, or 39.5 hours. The test had come out the day before. I physically didn't have enough time to do the test that many times, unless I was speed running and guessing at every question. 3. The correct answers to the test were given directly after you take it. If I wanted to redo it for a perfect score, I could have just looked at the correct answers. Second grade teacher had our class naming the hottest things we could think of. A few kids already said the most obvious, like sun and fire so the third thing I could think of off the top of my head was lava. Turns out lava isn't real. Then the teacher had the whole class laugh at me for it. It made me feel stupid as heck for years until I learned that lava is real, and my teacher was a dong. Fourth grade. She argued with me when I wrote a unicorn on a paper. Insisted it was an unicorn because you is a vile. I knew I was correct and could not find it within me to write say it stupidly wrong. Yes, I was polite about it. She sent me to the principal's office. My mom agreed she was an idiot. She thought dolphins were fish. No amount of arguing by third grade me was enough to convince her otherwise. They live in the ocean. They're fish. Should have asked her about seaweed, or sponges. After a substitute chemistry teacher heated a test tube over a Bunsen burner, while securing it in a test tube holder, he absent-mindedly handed the red-hot test tube to a student standing nearest to his demonstration. The boy, trusting that it must be okay, got his hand badly burned and, of course, the glass test tube shattered on the floor. Ouch, mine had a stopper in the test tube and it blew up when she heated it. She taught us the great lesson to never heat a closed container. We all learned from her mistake so I appreciated her sacrifice. Mrs. Earl, I never made that mistake myself so I appreciate you. Our literature teacher notified after we had already done the quiz and test that they have a combined grade and that if we failed just one out of the 15 questions in the quiz we would get 0 points for it. While she was talking lots of students obviously raised their hands. She let no one talk. At which point she said, verbatim, you guys know what is one of the things I hate about kids? They never listen to the end and always barge in in the middle. We let her finish talking. When she was done students raised their hands again. Then she said, I don't want to listen to you. The same literature teacher also told us she was okay with us watching the movie adaptation of the book we have a test for our diploma on instead of reading it. At the end of the day, I feel sorry for her because she just wakes up every day to a job she hates, but she is still an idiot. When my grade 2 teacher tried to hold me back a year, only to discover that she thought I was my older sibling, 3 years my senior whom she had also taught in the second grade, tbf she was way too old to still be teaching, she may have been senile. I had a teacher once that occasionally called me by my dad's name. She was so old that my dad had also been in her class when he was young. I apparently also looked a lot like him at that age. 
first grade teacher demonstrating how the water temp matters when washing hands. She had three bowls, hot, cold, and lukewarm water. The argument was that lukewarm gets rid of more germs than the other two. She rubbed Vaseline on three kids hands to represent germs. Cold kid goes first, 10 second ish wash, hands disgusting afterwards. Hot kid, me, goes next, 3 second ish wash, hands less disgusting, but still gross. Luke goes last, luxurious 90 minute spa session complete with manicure, hands look and feel carved by Michelangelo, I called bulls. Teacher replied along the lines of okay, yeah, you know better, never mind which one of us is the grown up. Logic sparked a life in my brain. Santa and the Easter Bunny fell soon after. Ah yes, the time honored scientific method of changing two variables at the same time. I was around 5 or 6 years old and drawing pink trees. They were supposed to magnolias. Obviously I was too young to remember the name but I did know them from the annual blossom viewing my family did each year. And my neighbors had one in their front garden as well. My teacher looked past and said, there's no such thing as pink trees. I tried to explain that there are. Even my neighbors have one, etc. But she cut me off and told me to stop lying. I'm still kind of mad about that lol. My wife and I were in a birthing prep class. We are both in the medical field, but didn't advertise it to the teacher. She was actively advising parents not to have their babies vaccinated against Hep B as newborns because she thought you get Hep B exclusively from eating contaminated foods, and couldn't see why newborns would need such a thing. It's one thing to be wrong, and it's another to be wrong and advising a room full of first time parents with your ignorance. I hope you and your wife immediately corrected her, for the sake of everyone else. English teacher in a non-English speaking country where I was studying abroad insisted that the correct term is in fact escapagoat. The scapegoat is the person getting blamed, the escapagoat is the person that should have been blamed, but escaped. When my English teacher, I'm from Italy so we have English as a second language, said lettuce instead of lettuce. She was also one of the worst teachers and ended up getting replaced. I may start calling lettuce lettuce. Sounds so fancy. I remember the time my 4th grade teacher tried educating us on what makes an animal. One of the criterion she came up with was all animals have brains. I asked, what about jellyfish? They don't have brains. To which she replied, well then they aren't alive, are they? I don't think this teacher is alive, either. My biology teacher in high school asked me a question regarding something she was talking about, the answer of which was projected onto the whiteboard with an overhead projector. I looked at the whiteboard, and she placed her left hand over the part that had the answer so as to conceal it. I told her that the text was still projected onto her hand and that I could see it. She was visibly upset, and then she proceeded to place her right hand on top of her left hand. I bursted out with laughter. She kicked me out and called my parents. My mom went to take a university class in Greek. She's a native speaker, so she was hoping for an easy A and to maybe just read some new literature. The professor was Peggy Hillang it hard and my mom tried to correct and she said told my mom that she was wrong. Then another native speaker confirmed it. She never called on either of them in class again lol. Points for the correct use of the verb to Peggy Hill. My English teacher asked when Woodrow Wilson was president. We were reading Scarlet Ibis and it mentioned him. So I raised my hand. I replied both his election dates, 1912 and 1916 if I'm not mistaken. She tells me no. I assumed I got the dates wrong and it was actually 1914 and 1918 or something. Then some girl raises her hand and answers 1900s and she says yes. I bet this is one of those teachers that only accepts answers the exact way the book phrases it. I was in grade school, maybe 3rd or 4th grade. The teacher asked what was the capital of the state of California. I said Sacramento. Teacher said I was wrong. It's Los Angeles. Maybe they thought Sacramento was a type of cheese. I speak from experience here. She told me. A type 1 diabetic to just know when I need to drink the juice box and to do it before I feel sick. This was before sugar level sensors. And you can't be taking blood from her finger 247. So we mainly go by the feeling. I feel low sick. Get sugar. Oh how nice my life would actually be if I would just know. 
I had a teacher who gave a lecture he had already given. Word for word. He asked a question which I answered correctly. He asked how I got the answer and I said I wrote it down the last time you gave this lecture. It can't be as bad as last year, when he presented that ridiculous death clock. In 7th grade, a teacher gave our class an assignment that included our birthplace, but she wrote on the board where were you born? I had a teacher argue with me that sate isn't a word, I had to pull out a dictionary to prove them wrong. Later on I had to do the same thing with die being the singular of dice. I used the word honed in an AP writing class, was told it wasn't a word. Not a teacher but I used to go to a living group because of a genetic nerve disease and one of the group leaders is the idiot. I had my laptop broken so I had to use the old school giant PCS there and I got notified that Flash Player needed an update I went to the office and asked the so called tech guy group leader if I could update it and he said no that's just a virus. Trying to infect the PCS it's been saying that for years. This was in a time Flash Player was regularly updated and used a lot. My mom used to say the same thing, got scolded for installing windows updates once, and since then everything wrong with the computer was my doing, even after I built my own rig and never even touched theirs. Somehow playing games fricks with all the computers on the network A. Eh? I was in the earth science program at U of Maine, or Rono. At the same time my mother was attempting to recover from a debilitating stroke that left her practically paralyzed on her left side. While I attended school, I also had to look after my mother's property, take care of her affairs, and try to get rehab care for her out of a very recalcitrant facility. Plus, of course, visit her and look out for her in a lonely life in a rehab center nursing home. I always managed to keep my grades up, at an A average, actually, and attend classes. Though, when it came time for my Keystone project, I went to see the head of the program. As I was having issues finding a professor to oversee a project, the program head was exceptionally pleased at this, as, he explained, he thought I didn't deserve help, after all, I had been too busy looking after an important, off-campus affairs to attend completely optional department socializing events, and all the professors therefore justifiably hated me, I currently work in scientific translation, away from ignorant M like that. I am so sorry an ignorant mother altered your trajectory. Happens way too often. Both our AP English teachers believed they had figured out the origin of the idiom. Lock, stock, and barrel. It meant the whole store, which was the lock on the door, the stock on the shelves, and the barrel of crackers. The kid who sat behind me in homeroom, for show and tell, brought in a couple of Pennsylvania rifles. One a cap look, the other a flintlock, each of them with a lock stock and barrel pumped up kick starts playing my eighth grade social studies teacher thought panama was a part of canada why because in the geography textbook we were using panama and canada were colored in with the same shade of pink well according to her famous math theorem four countries is all you need gave me an f for plagiarism I didn't steal anything and she refused to show me her proof because this was high school and I wrote at a university level her words. She stated she didn't need to show me the proof when I requested it. She said since we were learning about the formation of democracy that she will let the class vote whether I passed or failed a presentation. Teacher doing basic 10 year old anatomy. Can anyone tell me what this is? It's me. Whose family's fav show was house. The trick here? Teacher, no, this is called the windpipe. When you can't breath, the doctor will do a windpipiotomy trichiotomy. In my German class the teacher never actually taught us anything. It was just morning exercises and for the entire rest of the hour he'd just tell a story about his time in Germany. As for the material, gives us a book and expects us to learn it ourselves. You're a teacher, your job is to teach us. It's not that I don't like your stories, but people aren't passing because you aren't teaching. I had a Spanish teacher like this once. She was new to the district and she got fired after two weeks. My other Spanish teachers were a little better but not by much. My mom bought me shorts that were too big on the waistline. As I didn't t wear a belt yet, I would pull my shorts up whenever they felt like they were going to fall off. My second grade teacher thought, hum. This boy must be playing with his dong and yelled at me for it. She treated me like some pervert for the rest of the year. 
turns out she was the pervert later on. When she said I'm a reincarnated Native American princess, I mean I thought she wasn't great until then but at that point I knew she was an idiot. German teacher marked my my family and pets SAD because I had misspelled a word repeatedly. No miss, that's the German word for ferrets. Bumped up to an A. She just assumed I had messed up instead of the possibility that I owned a pet other than hund and cats. Not so much my teacher is an idiot more my teacher is so out of touch. In philosophy class we were discussing the idea of being in the zone and the teacher talked about it in the context of sports and work. She then asked us for examples of activities that we would get in the zone for. A lot of people used the example of various video games they played and times they were in the zone. The teacher was really skeptical that it was possible and dismissed the first few examples as people not understanding the concept but as more and more people added their own gaming in the zone examples she was eventually forced to concede that it might be possible. She was old. Yeah, that's just out of touch. I remember a quote from my father where he said video games can't be art. Art is something you think about and has meaning. Video games are something kids play on the TV on Saturday morning when cartoons end. He tried to convince me that milk has no water in it. I don't even want to know how he came to that conclusion. Is milk an element? My English teacher in high school was incredibly religious. She refused to adequately discuss the set book Watership Down because the rabbits worshipped a different god. And she always commented that I was going down the wrong path by reading fantasy books by David Eddings, Stephen Donaldson, and Tolkien. Needless to say, I didn't get a very good grade as I continued to read those evil books. In 5th grade, my teacher docked points from my science homework for defining magma as lava before it reaches the surface. I hated her after that, even though I was technically wrong. She later told us that sea turtles lay 8 million eggs a year, pronounced hyperbole, one of our vocab words for the unit, as hyperbole, and said that the difference between a cow and a bull is that bulls have horns. Geologist here, I would have marked you right, especially in 5th grade. I thought my 8th grade geometry teacher was an idiot because he didn't seem to understand it at all. Then I stopped by his office to find him studying the subject and trying to figure out the problems in the next chapter. Because he was the football coach and health teacher, and didn't teach math, he was just voluntold to teach it. I ended up working with him to kind of help teach the class, and he really appreciated it. Yes, I'm a serious nerd. Ed, this story was from the early 1970s took the football team to state championship a few years later. He passed away earlier this year. I think he was in his 90s. Many of the students went to his funeral. He was a great guy. R.I.P. Coach. So he wasn't really an idiot. He was just told to teach something he didn't understand. My geography teacher when he explained that self-checkouts had something to do with the mark of the beast in the end times. I don't remember all the details. WTF. I was in 7th grade biology. We were learning about plants with our books open while the teacher described xylem. He was continually pronouncing it xylem. I politely pointed how the textbook says it is pronounced. He got p. Asclone. High school history teacher. I privately alerted him to the fact he was saying bubonic plague as bluebonic plague. I was that annoying kid who always corrected people. I've learned to be more judicious about it since then. He then said he didn't care because bluebonic was easier to say. It got worse from there. I had an economics professor in my second year of college selling MLM products before and after class. At first I thought it was going to be like a long con lesson or something. But no. Worse. A student got him into their sales stream. I realized then that choosing a party school wasn't the best decision 18 year old me made. Whoa. Three words. Use two condoms. If you don't get it, please never use two condoms at once. They get weak or not stronger due to friction. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
Bye for now.